In today's episode, I post a sheep poo for a letterbox. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. And I moan a lot about my back. My back, honestly. Today, we are getting in two mobs of sheep. Um, there's about 100 ewes with their lambs in this lot. And then there's another bunch that's probably about 60 ewes and lambs. We're having a treatment for, uh, with ectofly for fly strike. Um, it's like a preventative measure for us to stop uh, flies laying eggs in the sheep and then eating them alive, basically. I'm a little late to the party. Full transparency, I absolutely mullered my back on Saturday. Couldn't get out of bed at all Sunday. Was not very good on Monday. I've seen a chiropractor and all that sort of stuff. They straightened me out. We're now at Thursday, I'm not very good at all. Been up since about 4.30 in pain. So this isn't ideal. Um, I've had to deal with the practice myself and I'm gonna have to deal with this myself. So I've been putting it off, but the sheep have started getting fly and it's obviously a, a welfare issue. It's not good for the sheep, it's not good for anyone. So they need doing, they need doing today. It's just unfortunate that I'm on my own. So I'm gonna have to battle through because I'm a little trooper. I've got the long-eared collie with me. She's just having a turn out. Well done, Indy. Running away from it there. Fleeing the scene of the crime. So yeah, getting them in is not gonna be very ideal. <clears throat> The only place I could set it up was sort of in this gateway here, but they can run sort of that way and that way, so it's not gonna be good. It's just me and the long eared collie, but we'll make it work, because we always do. One other thing, uh, this bunch of sheep up here, I'm really unhappy with. They're a bit lean, they're not really doing, the lambs look rubbish, to be honest, they look stale. It looks like the ewes have like almost dried up. Now, we are right down in Kent, and we've had a hell of a drought the last few weeks. I don't know whether it's really knocked the ewes or not, um, we've had a bit of rain the last couple of days, so everything's sort of greened up and it's not looking like droughty at all. But I just wonder whether it just took the punch out of them a little bit. So I'm thinking about maybe um, getting some blood tests done. It's something we've never done before, just to do the trace elements, just to see if there's anything we can treat them for. So I was going to bolus them, but everyone's like, oh, you've got to blood test them first to know what you're treating them for. I was just going to get an all in one bolus, they're about a pound a go. Um, but you know, I'm up for it, so we haven't done it before, so I'll try getting some done and see what, what they are lacking. Um, so I'll probably ring the vet and find out how much that costs. Good afternoon, how can I help? Oh, good afternoon. How much does it cost to have um, some sheep blood tested? Uh, bear with me, I would have to get one of the large animals. Just one second, how many sheep was it? Um, I, I don't know how many you have to test, uh, probably half a dozen or so. Okay, no, that's fine. Bear with me one second. I'll just see if I can get a rough estimate for you, okay? Alright, lo lovely. Thank you. <coughs> Jesus Christ, really? What, for just doing trace elements? Yep, just to do those, um, and obviously it'd be the time for the vet that comes out, and obviously there'd be a visit charge as well, obviously it coming out to you. Um, yeah, we'll have to try and have a think um, what to do. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine, okay. Yeah, all right, lovely, thanks very much. Thank you, bye-bye. Cheers, bye. Nope. How on earth do they charge 350, 400 pound to come and blood test some sheep? What's that about? Outrageous. And then um, I've got to do some poo samples on the ewes just to check that they haven't got any worm burdens pulling them back. And then we can treat them for that. <coughs> so it's a bit of an MOT for them. I'm absolutely shot the bits with my back. And uh, that's about that. So let's get it on. So with a little bit of luck, they won't run up and down here. They'll just run in there. We'll get them in. Up the race. Give him a little treatment. Happy days. One slight issue. I've lost the dog already. Shh. Where have you been? You've been in a pond, haven't you? Come on. Little bug. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not feeling my best. I really need you to be on the sheep job today, all right? Ignore the rabbits. Ignore the pigeons. Ignore all of that and just be a real sheep dog, all right? God, you stink. Good dog. Woo, woo, woo. Hello. 
Hold him, hold him. Hold him up. Woo, 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 woo. Hold him, hold him. Hold him, good dog, good dog. Good dog, good dog. Good dog, hold him up, hold him, hold him, good girl. Good dog, hold him, hold him, hold him. Hold him, hold him, good girl. Good dog, good dog. Push him, push him. Good girl, hold her, hold her. Good girl, here, here. Leave him. Hold him. Good. Hold her, hold her. Good dog, good dog. We failed. Never mind, we're just doing them in two lots. I can't get them all in just with the pennies on my back. I just can't move. Um, but never mind, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Also, a U um, literally just popped this out this morning, a little scotchy. I didn't notice her when we was getting them in, but she was just sort of here and he didn't manage to keep up and I've just got to find her now. And reunite them. You see how um, you see how all the the lambs just look a bit, a bit stale, like stunted. Not that one. His mum's bad, but see how they look a bit just disappointing. They're not, they're not bad, they're not unwell or anything. They just, um, they just, you know, they've been, they've been, uh, they've been checked. So we'll try and get to the bottom of that. You see how she's got a bit of flow there? In there you'll see that they've, they've hatched. Look at those old look. See how they hatched in there? Eating her alive in there. Horrible things. You might be wondering why I haven't shorn that whole sheep. Basically, <clears throat> I actually can't move. My back's so bad. So she's just gonna have to have a bad haircut and uh, survive. Oh, I need a couple of days off. I hope there's no more. Please, no more. It's also my New Year's res to um, wear more waterproofs and stuff when working with all these pesticides and chemicals that we deal with. So, um, just gonna put my overalls on. Found these in the barn. They now I smell like a billy goat. I'm not gonna lie, but um, it's what it is. I even found some uh, carving gloves, so I'm gonna be proper extra. Wear a pair of them as well. Why wouldn't I? Set an example for the kids.
I just got to get the last sort of about a dozen ewes in now. I've got some more to do down the road, but my back's so bad that I actually don't think I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do something I rarely do, which is quit, I think, and try and do them tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a terrible way. So, uh, yeah, I'll just get the dog and we'll uh, get that last lot in. Just going to poo sample them. So we just sort of, whilst they've been in, I just collect poo from like, I think they want about 10. Pop in a little baggy, post it off, and then they'll tell me what worms I need. Right, all done. We do have one little problem though. When we were getting in some sheep, the uh, one of them had lambed. And being the terrible shepherd I am, I never, I did, just, just didn't see her. Um, she is now not wanting this lamb. It's not ideal, I tried to give it back to her. She's pissed off, we've been here another probably an hour and a half. She's not come to find it at all. Um, now obviously I want her to have it. I don't want to, I don't want to take it away or anything like that, but I'm not coming back here tonight. And to be completely honest with you, I made a bad judgment yesterday on a, on a ewe that had a pair of lambs. One of them wanted taken off. She wasn't looking after it. Picked it up, pretty much dead this morning. It's probably gonna be dead by the time I get back to the farm. I took that quite personally because it was a judgement call that I knew I should have made and I didn't. Now that will get eaten by a fox tonight. But I don't want to bottle lamb, it's May, like we're past all that. I just I don't know what to do, if I'm honest. So hopefully I'm just gonna pack the Prattley up. It's gonna take me about two hours because my spine's crippled. And then uh, hopefully she's just gonna come bellowing over, trying over to it and then feed it and take it off away with her. But um, I don't want to leave it here to die. But it's my fault. See, this is the thing. I didn't see it. I should have got a. You know, I should have saw it before we got him in. But I didn't. And uh, I don't want him to die for it. So you're all right, bud. Go and find your mum. Go on. Go off and find your mum. I mean, it's not looking good, is it? I was only joking when I said it's gonna take me an hour to wrap up the Prattley, but I literally like shed a tear rolling it in. Anywho, um, I gotta go and look at a bit of land about half an hour up the road. So what I'm gonna do is just plonk little in the gateway here, go and do that. And then um, hopefully I'll come back and she's just found it and just running around with it. Failing that, if when I get back she's not come to it or it's just on its own still, I will push all the sheep are now in this field, I'll push them all back through the gateway past it, slowly, and uh, hopefully she'll just pick it up. It's not looking good. It's nearly four o'clock now, um, I've got to get back. I've got another group of sheep to check. I've got to get back, get the goats fed, check them, kidded, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, last resort now, I'm just gonna push all the sheep back through this gateway and she's just sitting there. So, um, hopefully, um, she just runs past her and picks her up. I was sweating there for a minute. I thought we were going to have to rear that. All good. Next time, Christopher, open your eyes. I really hope you enjoyed my YouTube. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.